blows that ship to bits. Just once never miss. They can't miss. Well, apparently he's dead. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some important work to do and very little time to do it in. Oh, by the way, Lee, you can raise us from the bottom now. We won't be attacked again for, uh, for a while. Of course, your torpedoes missed the target. Yeah, uh, yes, sir, I know. I uh, I didn't hear an explosion, yes, sir. How do you explain it? Well, all I know, sir, is if one of these babies is fired, it's got to hit. Four were fired with no hits. Well, there's only one way uh, that can happen. There was no target up there. But there was. We're still tracking it. There's just no way to explain it, sir. Are you sure those tubes didn't misfire? That I can guarantee. I heard every one of them when they were launched. You can't mistake that sound, Mr. Morton. Any torpedo man will tell you that. Tracking tapes indicate all four were released and headed directly for the target. See that, sir? I told you. I think I'll just have a look at those tubes. You don't even have to check, Mr. Morton. Those tubes are empty. You saw for yourself on the tracking tapes. Boston Mast request all possible information on the career of Captain Seamus O'Hara Nelson, who died at sea in the year 1822. That's extremely urgent. Send me a decoded reply as soon as you receive it. Aye, aye, sir. Now, come in. Admiral, can I uh, see you for a couple of minutes? No. Oh. Yeah, sure, Chief. Come in, sit down. Something, something peculiar is going on around here. Oh, that's a fair statement. Go on. Well, the thing is, sir, if anyone has any answers to my questions, I figure it's you. Uh, I wish it were. But I'm afraid the shoe's on the other foot. Francis? I'd like you to, uh, to answer a question for me. Yes, sir, anything I can. Suppose someone offered you something that could prove more valuable to you than your wildest dreams, and all you had to do to get it was accept the offer. Oh? Mm. But, Francis, if you accept the offer, you might be hurting someone. 